I'm Yuri Tojo. I own a small tech firm called Toriko Co. I used to be a programmer, but my colleague Hitomi encouraged me to start my own business. What do you think? They'll never let us do what we want if we stay here. You're right. They'll never go for this. I know, right? They're so short-sighted. All they care about is short-term profits. They just can't see the big picture, you know? They're definitely going to start losing business if they don't change. Yeah, and if we stay here, we'll never be able to shape our own idea. Yeah, I don't see any reason to stay here. <laughs> this company is finished. Maybe we should get new jobs? Well, maybe, but I don't know. There's no guarantee that they'll let us do what we want. What if we just end up somewhere worse? It's pretty risky. Yeah, you're right. If things get any worse than this, I won't be able to take it. But then, what do we do? The company will never change, we'll never be able to do what we want, and they'll start losing their business sooner or later. They'll probably fire us in a few years anyways. Yeah, but getting a new job sounds really risky. I know. Why don't we just start our own company? Huh? Seriously? Yeah, whatever we do, there will always be risks. But if we start our own company, we can do what we want. You're right. Yeah, let's do this. So we quit our job, pooled our savings, and started a small tech firm. But running a business was easier said than done. This isn't good. We made a few websites and programs, but we're barely making ends meet. What should we do? Let's try to expand our business to other markets. But we need to get our hands on more projects. So we started undertaking projects from bigger tech firms. Then, one of our clients introduced us to Ooko. Yes, we'll get on it right away. Thank you for choosing us. Of course! You're a lifesaver! You're saving me tens of thousands of dollars. Plus, you're all really good at what you do. And our clients love your work. So thank you. Keep up the good work. Thank you for saying that. Will do! After we started undertaking projects from Ooko, our business started to take off. A few months later, we hired some new employees to keep the business going. Our company was growing and Mr. Rido from Ooko was a great client to work with. He was always so supportive. Uh, but then... Thank you for coming. Oh no, thank you for inviting me. Uh, what did you want to talk to me about? Was there a problem with one of our projects? Oh no, not at all. There was something else that I wanted to tell you. Oh, okay. What's up? Well, first off, I recently got a promotion. So someone else will be taking over. Oh, is that so? Congratulations! Thank you for everything! Thank you. Oh, and there's one more thing. Yeah. So this guy, Mr. Sasaki, he'll be taking my spot. But you see, he's a troublemaker. Troublemaker? Yes, he's good at his job, but there's something wrong with his personality. He's an elite, and he's very condescending. He loves to look down on people. And I just wanted to let you know in person, that's why I called you out here today. I see. Thank you for the heads up. Uh, well, I still look forward to doing business with Ooko. Good luck with your new job. Thank you. And if you need help with anything, feel free to contact me. So, we said goodbye and I headed over to a nearby cafe to meet up with Hitomi. Hey, how was it? Hey, Mr. Rido, uh, he got promoted. Someone else is taking his spot. Oh, that's a shame. I really enjoyed working with him. So, he was introducing you to the next guy? Oh, no, not yet. Uh, he just wanted to tell me a few things about the next guy. What do you mean? His name is Mr. Sasaki. He said he was a troublemaker. Troublemaker? That doesn't sound good. Yeah. He graduated from a really good school or something, and he likes to look down on people, according to Mr. Rido. Hmm, I see. That can't be good. We better be careful about him. Yeah. After that, we talked about the business for an hour or so. Then we both went home. Then, two weeks later, we got a phone call. Okay, okay, I understand. Could you please hold? Um, I got a Mr. Sasaki on the line for you. Okay, put him through. Okay. Sorry for the wait. This is Tojo speaking. Ah, took you long enough. How long does it take to pick up a phone? Oh, um, sorry? I I'm really sorry about that. Ugh, whatever. You gotta step it up, okay? I'm trying to run a business here. Anyways, I'm Daiki Sasaki. I'm the new managing director. I'll be replacing Mr. Rido. I look forward to working with you. That is all. Thank you. I look forward to working with you too. 
What was that? Working with us? You do realize you guys work for us, right? Get that through your head, okay? You don't work with us. You work for us. Without us, you're nothing. Got it? Uh, yes, sir. Good to hear. All right, then. Keep up the good work. So we got a call from Mr. Sasaki. He was much worse than we expected. I didn't even know what to say. I was listening to the conversation. What's his problem? This isn't good. He's just going to make things more difficult for everyone. What do you think, Yuri? Yeah, I agree with you completely. He'll just make things difficult for everyone. Yeah. So what now, Yuri? I know you don't want to hear this, but maybe we should stop doing business with Ooko. We're a small company, but we have a lot of clients, so I get what you're saying. But I don't know, just ending things like that, it doesn't feel right. Ooko, they're the reason our company was able to grow. Yeah, but that was all Mr. Rido. But this guy, I don't know. I hear you, Hitomi. But I told Mr. Rido I'd do my best, so I gotta try. Okay, gotcha. But don't push yourself too hard, okay? We got employees now, so gotta think about them too. Of course. I'll see how things go, but if it doesn't look good, I'll cut all ties with them. No worries. All right. Hope it happens soon. <laughs> you don't like this guy, do you? I hate him. I, I don't even know him, but I don't know. I can't stand him. Yeah, I get what you mean. If it wasn't for work, I'd never talk to him. I want nothing to do with him, period. Hitomi had a good point, but I did promise Mr. Rido that I'd try, so I couldn't just give up without trying. I was worried, but I had to give it a shot. Hello? It's me, Sasaki. You picked up on the second ring this time. You're learning your place. I like that. Good job. Uh, thank you. How can I help you today? What do you think? I'm giving you work. Be grateful for it. It's the perfect job for you guys. Thank you. Could you tell me a bit more about the project? I need you to process and check some data. Oh, also, I need you to run some calculations for us. I understand. Data processing, data check, and calculations. Got it. What? No! I said data processing and data check. Huh? But I thought you said data processing, data check, and calculations. Huh? No. Just throw in the calculations as a freebie. I excuse me? You're so slow. You sure you're the CEO? Ugh, I'm saying do it for free! What? For, for free? What? Is there a problem? Well, I mean, look at the amount of data. I can't do this for free. What? You know how much business we throw your way? Money, money, money. That's all you care about. It's not about money. It's about trust. You get that? I'm sorry. Fine. Whatever. I'll pay you half price for the calculations. Normally, I'd fire you guys, but I'm nice, so... Sounds good? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Good to hear. Just remember who you work for, okay? Get it done. I decided to say yes, but I was starting to get worried. I was outraged by his demands, but we needed the money. Yuri, you sure about this? That jerk. I hate him. Yeah, who does he think he is? Yeah, I know. I'm really sorry, guys, but I had no choice. It's okay. They're one of our biggest clients, so they make up about 70% of our business. Yeah, but if you keep doing this, it'll start affecting the other projects, so you gotta be careful. I hear ya. But one month. It's only for one month, so could you give me some time? So for the next month, we worked our butts off, but he kept making ridiculous demands. In fact, it started getting worse. Thank you for calling, Tojo speaking. I know that. I'm calling about the project. What about it? You sent it to us the last minute. Who does that? Uh, we sent you the data two days before the deadline. I don't see what the problem is here. You don't get it, do you? Two days? Think about it. We have to check the data ourselves, too. You gotta give us at least three days for that. What is he saying? Normally you take all that into account when you set the deadline. Say something! You hear me? Uh, yes? Good. Remember, you work for us. Just do what I say, okay? You got that? Yes. He was so selfish. I couldn't take much more of this. What was his problem? We're not his servants, you know. Yuri, it's been three weeks. Everyone's exhausted. I mean, he keeps asking for more and more. We just don't have the time for it. And he barely pays us. This is ridiculous. 
Yeah, you're right. His demands are getting worse, and he's always forcing me to give him a 20% discount. He probably thinks we're his servants or something. Yuri, it's time to leave them. We can't keep doing this. Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. This is bad for business. So, after much thought, I took action. I called up Mr. Rido to get his opinion. So, I called him and told him about everything. Then I told him we wanted to terminate our contract with Ooko. He sounded really upset, but he said yes. He apologized to me over and over for Mr. Sasaki's behavior. The next day, Mr. Sasaki called me first thing in the morning, just as I thought. Hey, what's the meaning of this? You're terminating your contract? Uh, yes. I did everything by the books. I even got approval from Mr. Rido, so... Screw you! I'm the one in charge here! You can't just terminate the contract without my approval! I won't allow this! Oh, uh, okay, but that's not really our problem. The contract is between Toriko Ko and Ooko, so... Um, we did everything by the books, so we're done. You wanna play it like that? Fine! If you pull out now, you'll have to pay us a penalty fee! If you wanna end the contract, pay up! Um, no, I don't think so. If we terminated the contract for no reason, yes. But in this case, we're terminating the contract because of you. So if anything, we should be suing you for damages. If you want to go to court, that's fine by us. Sue me? You're pushing it. Fine, screw you all. You're all useless anyways. Get the hell out. Then he hung up on me. So we started looking for new clients to fill Ooko's void. Hitomi was right though. It didn't take long for us to find new clients. Oh, thank goodness. Then, about three months later, I got a call from Mr. Rido. He told me Mr. Sasaki got fired after that. Turns out, he was doing the same thing to other companies. Ooko ended up losing multiple business partners because of him, so they fired him. He tried getting a new job, but nobody wanted anything to do with him. Things weren't looking good for him. Then, a few days ago, Hitomi saw him in the park, picking up trash. Then, something unexpected happened. Ooko bought our company. Toriko Ko was now a subsidiary of Ooko, but they still gave us total control over our business. And with their funding, we were finally able to start the project we've always wanted to do. It was all thanks to Mr. Rido. It was a big project, and once it took off, it was a big win for both companies. I guess hard work does pay off. This is just the beginning of things to come. Yuri, can you handle this? Roger that. Glad everything worked out. Time to get back to work. <laughs>